Welcome to the Publishing Hour Show, where we are here to inform you on how to write your book the right way, the first time, and so much more. Now we have host, Apostle Jimmy Jumra, formerly Evangelist. Now look and see what we have just for you on the show today. Welcome to the Publishing Hour Show with Apostle Jimmy Jumra. Hello there, this is Apostle Jimmy Jumrock with the Publishing Hour Show, and I am so glad you join us. Don't you know this is our second season, and I am so, so excited because I have just great plans for the show for this year. Um, have you started, have you written down your um, New Year's resolution, and is one of them uh, starting your book project? Well, if it is, this is the show for you. Now, last year we started on, on uh, JoniqueDesign.com with JDI Publisher, which is a publishing company for the publishing show. And online, we have our online classes. It's a small fee for that, and you can go to www.JoniqueDesign.com and check that out. It says, uh, check out on how to write. And um, that shows a small a fee for that, and then you can get everything that comes along with it. But I got something even better for you. I have put together a couple of shows that have our online classes. So you can see, you can watch our show here online at the, our publishing hour show here. And check out the presentations and everything else, just like the online classes. Or you can just go online and sign up and pay the little small fee and then go ahead and take the classes yourself. Now, the first show today, you're going to get a little bit of development concept for number one. And we're talking about your dreams and your ideas, how to start writing and journaling. So... It's um, get your pencil and piece of paper together or your computer. However, you take your notes and take really, really good notes. Now, the show will be on every day at this same time, and you might see it another time here and there. But this is a way I want to get you started with your book project. You see, I got notes right here that I've been jotting down, trying to get it together to get you all ready for the show because I am so excited. Also, we had on our internet radio show, we had a, a couple of characters that we're going to bring to life. So if you ever heard our radio show, look forward to some of the characters that were just on the radio and they getting ready to come live and live in color. So I'm so excited, but I want you to stay tuned to the show today with Apostle Jimmy. Now, at that time, I was evangelist, and I became apostle at uh, the middle of last year, in June of last year. Matter of fact, it was June 27th. So this um, workshop that you're going to see is beforehand. And uh, like I said, take notes. See me as I was before and now how I am today. So if you have any questions, um, the credits at the end, you can uh, place your questions or whatever. Or also, I am looking for authors that I can put on the show. So if you know somebody that's an author or want to be author and would love to talk about their book project on the Publishing Hour show, please give me a call. The number is 804-719-1526. Or you can email me at jo jonique22 at gmail.com. And all that's at the bottom of the screen. But stay tuned to the show. And thank you for tuning in today to the Publishing Hour Show. Hello there, I am Apostle Jimmy Jumron with Jesus Delivery International Ministry Richmond. I am so excited. God has released me to make available to you the School of the Prophets online courses. Yes, you can take the School of the Prophets online. 
I have had many requests for this school from the Midwest to the Northeast and to other countries, but the people just could not get here. So now in 2013, God has answered your prayers. Go to www.jdiministry.org, click on online classes, or email me at apostlejimmy at gmail.com for more details. I also have a special package for pastors to have the School of the Prophets in their ministry. I look forward to ministering godly training to you. God bless. And I am here to talk about our first class for 2012. I am so excited. It's our beginning class, and you are here to be one of our beginning students. Congratulations. Uh, we want to talk about in our beginning class how to write and, pu and publish your book. Now, I wanted to go into uh, two topics here. And the first one is a dream and an idea. So I started off with Webster. And Webster states that a dream is a series of mental images, thoughts, and emotions occurring in certain stages of sleep. Webster Dictionary states that idea is something existing in the mind such as an image or thought. It also states it's a plan. So think about that. You want to write your book and you want to get it published. But how do you start? You start now with this dream. Now my dream, because I'm an author, like most authors, was to uh, have a bestseller. Now that's what most authors' dreams are. My dream also was to have my book as a play or a motion picture, a movie. And the idea, it exists in my mind as an image or thought. So we went, I went on and started, how am I going to do this? How am I going to put this dream of me publishing a book and the idea of me publishing my book into exist existence. Well, one thing I needed to know how to write it. How to write it. And that's what we're going to talk about now. talk about how to write, writing, how to start. Now, one thing that I can tell you, you can start at many, many ways. And one way you can start is just writing. Just writing your ideas. Whatever is coming to your head, just pick up that pencil and paper and write. Or you can use your computer. Now, what are you going to write? That's a good question. What is your dream? What do you want to write about? When you were dreaming that night and um, something came out, of that dream, what was it? What was your dream? Your dream, your idea. 
Now, I'm going to use my, my own uh, experience, and this might help you with yours. My experience was I was going through life challenges. And in order for me to get over my challenges, I write, I wrote about it. So I started off writing what was happening in my life. What? I'm trying to do this without blocking the camera here. Writing what was happening in my life. Because I was going through a lot. I talked about my children. Let me correct this here. I talked about my children. I talked about what they were doing and everything else. I, I was just writing, just writing, just writing, just journaling, just journaling. And that's a great way to start. So my dream, my idea was to get my book as a bestseller, but at the time, I needed some kind of way of release. So my book, Life After the Kids and God's Plan, is talking about my life after the kids. What am I going to do when these kids leave home? So those, those were my, my thoughts, because we talked about the thoughts uh, within the dreams and the ideas. So my thoughts was, what am I going to do with my life? I'm single, the kids are grown, they're going on with their lives. What am I going to do with my life? And one thing I had going for me, I was an artist. So in my book, I talked about my art. I talked about exhibiting. I talked about uh, all the wonderful people I was meeting. So, these are some of my ideas and my thoughts that I was talking about in my book as I was journaling. This is how I start writing. This is how I started. The start of. So, what are you thinking about right now? What is your dream? What is your idea? What are you going through in your life? Are you thinking about a children's book? Do you have little ones that you see certain little things that they're doing and you teaching them certain things and then you see their, their friends or what have you and how they're trying to overcome different challenges? How can you help? Do you want to help someone with your book? What are your ideas of why you want to write this book? And then you just start to journal. Just start journaling. About, um, journaling. And Webster Dictionary, journal is a personal daily record of experiences and observation. A diary. So every day, you're going to just journal. And what I suggest for you to do, as you journal, put the day of the week, number one, put the day of the week, um, or the date. This is 
very important because you're going to be just journaling. And if you're doing it on a computer, it'll, it'll keep it in order for you. What you're doing, you are, you are uh, establishing order. Because writing a book can take you up to 10 years. Some of the authors that I have encountered as a publisher has taken up to 10 years to write. So they may have all this paper all out of order, not knowing where they start or stop. But if you will write the day of the week or the date, which the date I will prefer because you know, okay, like today is um, it's 2012, the year is 2012. And whatever date you are looking at this video, because I may have established it way before you have actually done it. So we're going to go on whatever day today is for you. You're going to write that date down. And that's going to be your heading. The date will be your heading. Um, and then your subheading can be whatever topic matter you on. But we're going to just go with the date. Because right now, we are just starting off on how to write. This is the start. We are starting on how to write. So, first we got the dream and the idea. Then we are we going on to journaling. And as we stated, a journal is a personal daily record of experiences and observation. It's like a diary. And you can take that and you write in it every day. And you continue on writing until you feel like the story is over. You are writing a story. And this is your story that you want the world to know about. This is your story. I do better with this. <laughs> so, in order to keep your, your story in order, we want to put the date as the heading. And you can have your subheading for that day, if you care to put one. Now, you don't have to put a subheading, but if you want to put the subheading, that can be the topic that you're talking about. So, uh... What you talking about? Your subheading can be what you are talking about on that page for that day. And you may not have one because you're still talking about the same story from the previous page. So if you do it by date, at least you'll have it in order. But um, if you want to have a subheading, is what you are talking about. So let's put this on here. What you are talking about in your story. I'll say on that page. So, we are, we started off on, we're still talking about the beginning of the class on how to write and publish your book. 
we starting off with writing. We are we are talking about right now the journaling and the points of journaling. Uh, you're going to do the day of the week. You're going to do the date. You're going to put, this is how you have it in order. So once you complete it, then you know how to put your manuscript together. Um, we're going to, and, and you, you're going to be writing your story. Uh, this is your book and your story. And uh, if you need, and your date will be your heading. If you need a subheading. Uh, then you write about what you're talking about on that page. And that subheading can go on and on and on for pages. It can go up to 20 pages for that subheading. If you want to put continuance uh, from page, blah, 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 you can do that. But I wouldn't suggest that. What you're doing, you're establishing order, like I said, uh, in your journal. So when you start putting it into the, the manuscript format, for getting ready for the publisher, you have started it correctly. Need to know the paternity of your child? No matter the reason, Temple Image can help ease your mind. Whether you need to establish fatherhood, resolve child support, custody, insurance, or immigration issues, Temple Image offers fast, accurate, and discreet testing. They'll even come to you. Know the truth, Temple Image, 272-0238. I'm Dolores, founder of Temple Image. No matter what your situation, our confidential and quick paternity testing can resolve most any fatherhood issue. again and I'm here with your development concept number two on your beginning class on how to write and publish your book. And then we're going to talk about today uh, teach hands-on form of good writing skills. And when we talk about the teaching hands-on good forms of good writing skills, we're going to talk about the first, second, and third person and how to use in your writing project. Now, we're going to talk about the first person. Now, if you can't see everything on this board here, after every one of these presentations, you will get a little um, a, a PowerPoint presentation that will pop up with a little music going on. I like to jazz it up a little bit uh, to help um, make, make it fun for you. So, we're going to talk about the first person. And Webster gave a definition of first person. We're going with Webster's in here because we want to learn how to write our book. We're going to learn how to use dictionary and all sorts of materials so we can get the, the best for our book project. Now, we're going to write it in first person. Um, my book, Life After the Kids and God's Plan, as you saw in the beginning of the introduction, is in first person. And I did tell you that in the introductory. So we're going to get a little bit more about the introductory. So the first person is a Webster States, a catalog of linguistic form as verbs or pronouns indicated the speaker or writer of the sentence in which they are used. Now, I know you're wondering, what is linguistics? So... We're going to talk a little bit about that, and we're going to go into that. I'm going to clean all this up, and we go into the wisdom. We're still in first person. And we are talking about linguistics. And linguistics is the study of the natural and structure of human speech. So it's just naturally and how you're going to be speaking, how the human is speaking to uh, the writer. So the, the speaker or the writer in first person. So we're going to give you words that break down what first person indicate. 
and where the words are coming from. Now, I want to take this off here. Let's hope we get a good eraser here. And we're going to actually going to talk about first person. Sorry for blocking the camera. Sometimes we got to put a little spray on it to help clear it up. But um, we're going to talk about first person and how we're going to use this in a natural spoken word. How we're going to use it in the speech part of it. So, let's see what we have here for the first person. We have self. Like I said, my book, Life After Kids and God's Plan, is in first person. So what am I talking about? Myself. So if you have an autobiography, your autobiography will be in first person and it's going to be talking about yourself. Let's see if this one will do a little bit better here. And you know, it's fun being a teacher. Uh, the next one, what do you think? I. Of course, first person is always I. I am the person that we're talking about in Life After Kids and God's Plan. Then we're going to talk about we. Hmm. We in first person, we're going to come back to that because I got that broken down as well. And the next one we're going to talk about is what else? Me. Life of the Kids and God's Plan is talking about me. Now, your autobiography will be talking about you. So, is that in there too? Let's keep going. That might be in another person. Uh, the next one is us. Hmm, that's interesting. We're going to come back to us. My. Is my book, I'm talking about me, is my. And if it's my, it's mine. I'm taking ownership. I wrote it. I'm talking about me. It's mine. And our. Hmm. That's interesting. Our is in the first person. And ours with an S. Ours. So we learn that the first person, that when we start writing our book in the first person, it's going to be, we're going to talk in sentences about self, I, we, me, us, my, my, ours, our, and ours. So we're going to go a little bit further and break down the we and the us. And we're going to see how that is used, how Webster is stating how we use that in first person. Thank you for watching the Publishing Hour show with host Apostle Jimmy Jumra. I know you enjoy the show today. If you like a copy of the show, please look on the screen with the show number along with the email address and we will be more than happy to send you the show. And thank you again for watching the Publishing Hour show with host Apostle Jimmy Jumra. Have a wonderful and blessed